Hi guys and welcome to Strength Universe. Before we get to the video I'd like to say thank you to Georgie Danubic for suggesting a comparison between the Georgian National, European and World Arm Wrestling Champion Levan Saganashvili and the former Russian Strongman, winner of multiple arm wrestling championships and possibly former Strutko World Record holder Denis Saplenkov. And the comparison starts with the bench press, and here Dennis is competing at WPC Nutrisport Elite Cup in 2009, where he pressed 270 kilograms or 595 pounds. And the heaviest bench press that I could find the van completing is this 250 kilograms or 551 pounds, shown here, which looked very comfortable. Although Levan is probably capable of pressing more than 250 kilograms, the win still goes to Dennis, who has reportedly pressed 290 kilograms or 640 pounds in the gym. And the bench press is followed by the cheat curl. When having seen Levan's cheat curl with the 142 kilograms shown here, I thought this one would be close, until I found this footage of Dennis curling 140 kilograms or 308 pounds from 2015. While there are some definite differences in the form being used, I think it's hard not to be impressed by the amount of repetitions achieved by Dennis, which in my opinion gives the former Stricker world record holder the win. Next up is a rope climb, and due to not knowing the height of the climb, and a van appearing to climb what appears to be a chain instead of a rope, this particular comparison isn't counted towards the end results. As mentioned earlier, due to not knowing the height of the climb and the variations in what is being climbed, I've listed this one as a draw. The rope climbs preceded by the seated curl, and both athletes are using a weight of 120 kilograms or 264 pounds. And while it appears that the van moves the weight more easily, it's important to note that Dennis performed this lift approximately a year after suffering from serious health issues. So, for that reason, I think it's not representative of his true ability. The fifth comparison is a pull-up, and due to years of arm wrestling, neither athlete can use a full range of motion. Levan is considerably heavier and possibly shows better control, but Dennis is using a different technique and doesn't take the set to failure. Although Levan is heavier and completes more repetitions, it's difficult to call a winner. As Dennis didn't take the set to failure, so I've again listed this as a draw, and I look forward to reading your comments about who you thought should take the win. The penultimate comparison is the overhead press, and here Levan is pressing 180 kilograms or 397 pounds. Unfortunately, there's no video of Dennis doing a maximum overhead press, but he has reportedly pressed a 180 kilogram log when he was competing in strongman and thus with both athletes achieving an identical weight, this one's another draw. Our final comparison is a test of pullback strength, with Dennis pulling 85 kilograms for three repetitions, compared to Levan's 88.5 kilograms for a single. Technically, Dennis has a marginally higher total output, but due to the variation in equipment used, I've listed this one as a draw. Unfortunately, these were the only lifts I could find that were comparable, but I think there's sufficient here to see that Dennis and Levan are very closely matched. As well as the lift shown, Dennis has recorded a best squat of 340 kilograms or 750 pounds, and a best deadlift of 320 kilograms or 705 pounds, both of which were done in strongman competitions in 2008. With that information in mind, it would be great if you could leave a comment below letting me know who you think is stronger. I've left credits and social media links in the description below, so please check that out and give them a follow. And finally, if you enjoyed today's video, please help support my channel by hitting like, sharing the video, and if you haven't done so already, subscribing. Thank you.